and we're live. You know what's interesting, new topic TV-wise? Jeff Bezos, owner of Washington Post, kind of liberal, enemy of Trump, just bought The Apprentice. Oh, wow. Um, what's he going to do with it? Just, like, start the show up again? Well, so what he really did is he bought MGM, which owns The Apprentice. So he has this large uh -huh. portfolio. But what's interesting is there are supposed to be these Apprentice outtakes that have Trump saying, like, racist shit. It, mm. In particular, he drops an N-bomb, and he uses the R slur. Yikes. And uh, R? What's the retired. R one? We I, say I that like all the, the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. why would... <laughs> So, look, Why look, did you acronym that and not say it? it was I was like, is there a, that's, that's how it was when I read <laughs> is it. There a, is there a new one? <laughs> Am no, I behind? <laughs> that's how they described the word in the article I read. So uh, it, it made, I don't know, I followed it. So, uh, um, but I wonder, like, does that, how much does that hurt Trump? To me, that's baked into the cake. Like, like maybe seeing him literally use the N-word would be extra bad. Like, I don't think yeah. anybody gives a shit at this point. He's not even, like, in the public. Like, every... I He's going to run for president he, again, he says. You didn't see... It. He, look, I, I saw... Him. So I saw him on... Um, Sean Hannity, I think, did an interview with him the other day. The other day, I mean, like, month and a half, two months ago. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm fucking biased. Okay, I try not to be. I really do with Trump. Like, like, like I... I try. I feel like I've been pretty, pretty straight down the, the line with like hating a lot of the things he did. But, uh, but on some things, it's like, come on, you, that was a good one, right? It was a good one, right? Kept us um, out of war. Who's done kept that? Kept us lately? out of war, man. Kept those gas prices low. I sent you that little meme the other day. It's like I, sh I could sure go for a mean tweet and dollar eighty seven gasoline right now. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, 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 if if Trump tweet. were the president right now, you'd you'd have mean tweets, cheap gasoline. And you know this COVID thing would be wrapping up still anyway. Like, like, like every, the, the groundwork was laid uh, by Trump. So, um, but, but, but yeah, I thought he came off pretty well in Hannity. Um, he Did he talk about running for president again? Uh, he's raising money would, for it. Yeah, I assumed he was going to raise a bunch of money and then not run. He spoke a lot about, um, about Republican strategy. And it, it's, it's like when you hear Trump go, speak off the cuff, he seems like he doesn't know anything. That he's just speaking in generalisms, just like ah, yeah, we gotta be strong on the border. Okay, well, what does that mean, nuts and bolts wise? You know, ah, it means strength. And it's like, yeah, but exactly how many billions need to be spent, and how does that money need to be allocated, and which departments need to be funded first, so that you know there's a cascade of money, and and you you know you know you want your department heads all working together and strength. You know, like he doesn't know what he's mm -hmm. fucking talking about. But in but he was talking about Republican strategy, and it was like, oh yeah, well, well, this guy from this state, and this guy from this state. And if you look at the polling data, and it, it, they must have coached him or had a lot of editing. They must that have might be the area thing. where he's stra where he's really good because he That's did possible, win. and I don't even want to admit it. Oh okay, yeah, because I'm if there's a thing that I admit, like, he won the presidency. You know, like like, and he won it with fewer votes, which you could use as a knock, or you could say. Like, it was a hard needle to thread, and he did it anyway. And, uh, you know, like, he, he is good at politics, at getting people to like him. He's, he's, he's a natural there. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, oh, oh. But sometimes when I listen to Trump talk about strategy, this frustrates me. It's like listening to Mark Hamill talk about Star Wars. You know what we should do with Star Wars? What the fans really want is for them to CGI me as a master swordsman, like they do Yoda, doing crazy fucking flips, saving everybody's lives. Star Wars should be about me, 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 me. We'll spend three quarters of it talking about me, because that's what fans love. Luke Skywalker, it's the Luke Skywalker series. It's all about Mark Hamill. That's what people want. This new thing sucks. We got these new characters. What if I said, you know what PKA should be about? Hear me out, boys. We're going to do PKA. Make this show better. First hour, Lifeguard Stories by Woody. Second hour, Rags to Riches Academically by Woody. Third hour, uh, I don't know, <laughs> fuck it, Paramotor Recent Flights by Woody. And then the fourth hour... Fourth uh, hour, fuck. recap of everything else. <laughs> just, 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 yeah. uh, fourth yeah. hour, we'll introduce the other characters a little bit, but mostly it's about Woody giving them advice. That's what PKA should be. That's Mark Hamill talking about Star Wars. That's Donald Trump. Giving political advice. Everyone needs to pay fealty to me. Everybody mm. needs to get in line. Then we can win this thing. And I thought you guys both wanted more of Mark Hamill. Not in me. Star Wars no, no. Movies. I've no, always dogged Hamill for saying okay. it should be about that's, that's Mark high. Hamill. Hey, Taylor. Could you, could it should you be him? all about Mark Hamill. Could, could you see <laughs> Trump's face 
has he lost weight since he left off? Yeah, because you know he had. I should have bet on that because we. I think we all agreed. I think we all agreed. By the way, do you uh, remember the famous clip of Donald Tr- Trump and Billy Bush getting off the tour bus and talking about pussy? I think everyone does. Lots of people talk about it still. Can me and you please do an improv right now? We're whirling up to a club filled with black people and retards. Oh Christ! I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if that would work. Uh, like, I mean, I'm good with the retard part. I don't know where you're gonna go with the black people part. I've I've seen some of your some of your videos. I don't know. I'm not racist. Lots of people tell me I'm racist. I'm not. I've I've fucked lots of black women. Some of them agreed to it. <laughs> yeah, black women. No, oh, this place we're rolling up to right now. It's got a lot of guys with drool rolling down their faces too, Donster. Do you think that if if Trump admitted to being like kind of gay? It would have got him out of things if he was like, I'm a, I'm a Hollywood guy. I've had lots of threesomes, sometimes with men. Some, I mean, I, 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 you know, believe you me, I'm the first president to suck a dick. I've done it. I've, done, I, I've been in Hollywood for 40 years. What am I, some prude? I've done this. I've, I, I'm talking to you right now, Anderson Cooper. You, you know what happened in 2006. Don't pretend we don't. You know, something, something like, like that. I'm the gayest like, president ever since Lincoln. Maybe gayer I'm, than Lincoln. I'm even no that's how he would insult like he'd be like backwards like backwards <laughs> insult i'm even gayer than the gayest president barack obama he was he tried to be as gay as he could be not even close i'm much gayer lincoln slept with dudes all the time but they say he wasn't gay that would just there are fewer beds you, at the time what are you wait is that, is that oh, true oh okay he shared sleeping arrangements with men because it was pioneer days is that wait, what no but saying? he was Basically. he was the president he had beds he wasn't always he, the he president. wasn't always the president though Ah, oh, that's that is just for, true. That, just for that four years. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, didn't consider that. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, is that a, is that a like a history deep dive? Like, do some people think that Lincoln was gay or no. bi or something? Uh, I've I, never heard that. I didn't make it up. Uh, some people say he's gay, but I think that the truth is that that like it's not weird for guys to share beds at a time when materials were harder to come by. I'll, I'll That's get good it. for the title. There's Gay only Pro- one bed in the county. We've got to share. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish we could. Uh, Colin is going to be like Baron Trump's height. Like this, uh, Baron Trump looks photoshopped in every picture that he's <laughs> he really does. <laughs> like, By the way, I, I I'm digging his jacket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I never I, I like, like the belt too. Yeah. I like his, I like Baron's whole fucking outfit here. I'm gonna buy and, uh, this Baron Trump outfit. That's pretty also. Uh, I'm sorry, Woody. I'm I'm sorry. I tried to get Taylor to go on a uh, Donald Trump special needs improv earlier. My mom's a special <laughs> ed teacher, so I got nothing against the people at all. Well, oh, of course, I wasn't not. no one does. No, okay. yeah. but um, Baron Trump is only 15 years old, so he he's not even be. done is growing. He still yeah, 15. He's 15 now. Yeah, he was born 2006. He yeah, just turned. Got- March, Boy, Jesus Christ! He's gonna be like six foot ten. Maybe Do I you guys, don't know. Uh, I, I have a Sorry, Dan. It, so I, I was a late bloomer, and I stopped growing around nineteen. So I just anticipate the same for Colin because he's also a late bloomer. He's eighteen now, and his legs are like just getting hairy. So, eh. Baron, on the other hand, he was shooting up five years ago. So yeah, his dad's six three, uh, according to the the internet. Uh, his mom's five eleven. Uh, and he is just huge. He is fucking huge. He's, just, he's standing next to his mom, and his mom's wearing heels. Yeah, she's yeah, she's she's tall as fucking those heels. I'm trying to find out where where, where to get this outfit. What is that? A bomber? Some jacket? have speculated uh, Baron is six six. I mean uh, those those Melania jeans. Those high. This jacket isn't overpriced. Jeans. You're gonna you're gonna get that Baron Trump fit. I'm getting that fucking jacket, bro. <laughs> Man, this 15-year-old's really got an outfit that I love. Dude, that 15-year-old's oh, outfit was dude, put together a, by his fucking fashion model mother. Is I that a Beyblade? I got there's an article here about how fly his fucking outfit is. I'm getting that shit. It's pretty sweet. That belt it's, and those pants look expensive. Dude, I like I, I I like everything about what he's got going on there. Yeah. I like I like the sneakers too. I got this. I got some sneakers almost exactly like that. I got the same belt. Who doesn't have a white tee? You guys know of putting together an outfit, maybe like a, a hoodie, a hat, get myself a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fly as fuck, too. I, I love it. This is who you should have been for Halloween. Yes, I, it's occurred to me. 
How do I <laughs> do, fellow kids? <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> so fucking good. You gotta get the fake. You gotta get some fake fucking Bushimi teeth to go with it. Though. I like the music band T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, music. I just caught that. <laughs> music huh. band. <laughs> uh. Uh.